zero. 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 So where does this function, where does this thing actually start? Zero, one. No, one, one, one zero. It starts at one zero, right? This isn't, I think this is its starting point right there. Is that correct? Yeah. Is that the starting point? Nice. Nice. Is that correct? So how, what direction does it go in? Does it start looping down to the right or over to the left? I, which way? To the left or right? To the left or right? To the right? To the left. So it goes this way like this? OK. So then it's going to, does it hits the, what's, what, what, what theta value is that one going to be? What theta value is there? So it's 0 what? 0 what? Pi over? 4. Pi over 4? Pi over four, really? Yeah. Pi over four. Okay, I understand. So pi over four. So yeah, because you plug in pi over four, you get pi over two. I like it. Sine of pi over two is. Sine of pi over two is. One. One, one minus one is zero. So that's why it's at the origin. Okay, nice. Then where does it go? Does it go down now to the left or up? Where does it go? It goes up. No, it goes down. No, it goes up. There's. Okay, at this point, there's three different directions. It can go up, down to the left, or straight down. Which one? Up. It goes straight up. Really? Yeah. Does it? Yeah. So does it? Does it? It goes up. <laughs> well, let's let's plot a point. Let's just pick something. Let's pick something. What? We can plug in pi over two. Let's see if that's fine enough. So we plug in pi over two. Pi over two times two is pi. What sign of pi? What sign of pi? One. One. Okay, hold on a sec. I really want that in polar coordinates because otherwise you'd have to use. Nah, it's not that fun. So what's the r? What's the range? What's the range in the r values? What's the lowest r value? What's the highest r value? And I like putting equals because it's solid lines. What's the highest r value? Square root of? Eight. The highest one is the square root of eight? Eight. I'm oh, sorry, what's the lowest one, Pinky? Square root of eight. Square root of eight. I like that. And what's the highest one? Square root of? 18. People agree with that? So then what's the theta value? Mm-hmm. Pi over four to what? Yep. Correct. And yes, you can simplify root eight and root 18, sure. 3 root 2 and we good? Yay? Uh, 22. What's the coordinate? A would be x, y. Well, that's nice. Fantastic. Awesome. Yay. Exciting. And this is x. That's what it's saying. Does that make sense now? So theta being, if theta, if you, if, let's, so let's just figure out what these are right here. So let's say this right here is theta right there. If you wanted to do theta right there, how would you do theta? 10 inverse of y over x, correct? You with me so far? That's that one? Okay, so then how, how would you go about, there's other values here, right? Let's use green, I guess. Let's use this one right here. Like this. So that theta value, where does that theta value go from? That goes from, yeah, which one? How would you write that one? You would, uh, you would actually have to add pi. So you do 10 inverse of, um, of the slope, and then you have to add pi. So okay. Tangent, you do something in the, the fourth and first portion. Sure, sure, sure. But how do we map it to one of these? If we wanted to do this right here, if we wanted to figure out which one is which. So I would do 10 inverse of. So that one's A right oh, there. Oh, oh, wait, wait. There's, it matches up. Yeah, that's the whole point, oh, isn't it? Look, it yeah. says, here are the four points. Say which points A, B, C, D, and figure have polar coordinate theta given by that so formula, right? Sine one. It's the sine of theta equals sine 180 minus theta. What'd you say? It would be the sine one, the one that's 22. Why can't that Hold. one? Go ahead. Yes, Izzy? This is the wrong way. Wrong way. We don't like that way. That's the wrong way. What's the right way going to be? What do we have to break this up into? What do we have to, we have to break it first? Break it up into what? So negative 1 to 0 of x to the negative fourth dx plus what? 0 to 2 of x to the negative fourth dx. Exactly. And then each of those is a what? Is an improper integral. You can't plug in the zeros, right? Did we do that? Did I break it up correctly? Yeah. Right? So then if I want to write this out totally properly, I need to write out some limits, right? So it's going to be the limit. It's going to be the limit as, let's say b, this thing keeps on moving around on me, the limit as, ah, stop moving, b goes to 0 of the integral of uh, negative 1 to b of x to the negative 4 dx, 
and then what's next? Plus the limit as c goes to 0 of c to 2 of x to the negative 4 dx. 1 over 2 to the third minus 1 over c to the third. So what's the, what's the problem, so to speak? Yeah, what do these go to? What does this one go to right here? As b goes to 0, what does that go to? Oh, and here's the other thing. We have to be really specific. We're approaching 0 from what side? This is 0 from the left. So it's going to be to the left, from the left, from the left, from the left. So if we approach from the left, from the left, what does that mean this is going to? Negative infinity, right? And this is approaching 0 from the, what side are we going from? We're going from 0, approaching 0 from the what side on this other one? From the other side, from the positive side. So if we approach it from the positive side, what is this going to right here? What is it going to? That one's going to positive infinity, right? So what does that mean this limit is actually going to, if, if you end up with a negative infinity and a positive infinity? Do, ha, big question. Do problem initially that you, you can't plug in the endpoints, right? right? You can't plug in the endpoints. Um, so then you tried to, do, uh, tried to do the actual integral. So I like the u substitution here. So if you do the u substitution, you did u is equal to y, oh, it's, no, not y squared, u is equal to what? Nine minus, Nine minus y squared, I like this. So you got du is equal to negative two y dy, correct? So dy is equal to, uh, 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 am I doing this right? Yeah, du over what? Negative two y, like that? Let's keep the limits of integration off. You get the integral from something to something of y times what's dy is equal to? du over negative 2 like this? Am I doing OK so far? Yeah. Is this OK so far? Yeah. OK, so what do we end up with here? We have negative 1 half, the integral of uh, uh, 1 over the square root of u du, correct? Uh -huh. Nice, OK. So what does u equal? Um, it does, OK. So let's integrate this first. What's the integral of 1 over the square root of u? You have this times what? One half, really? Yeah. So this is u to the wait, wait, wait. u to the wait, negative wait, wait. one half, right? That is that correct? Yeah. Isn't it two u to the yeah. one half? Isn't that correct? Yeah. That seems to be correct. Nice. So what does this end up equaling? This ends plus what? Plus c. That's great. Equals what? The twos cancel. What are you left with? Negative square root of what? U, U correct. So what? Do, but we know U is equal to what? Hmm. Nine minus y squared. So this t tells us that the integral is negative the square root of nine minus y squared.